Now to new information tonight here at 10 o'clock from the city of Arlington. This is after a brain-eating amoeba has taken the life of a child. Arlington leaders admit there were maintenance and inspection issues at a city-owned splash pad. J.D. Miles sharing tonight what can cause that amoeba to live and grow in water. Health experts we spoke with insist this is a very rare infection and a remote risk. But the water that comes out of these splash pads is supposed to be cleaned and inspected. The city says it wasn't, and it cost a child their life. It was a busy and fun-filled Labor Day weekend on this splash pad at Don Missenheimer Park in Arlington. Amanda Clothier was here with her youngest, who enjoys playing in the water. It's mostly been good. Um, we've had a fun time, especially with my little guy here. It was also that weekend when the city of Arlington says an unidentified child was infected with a bacteria in the water that causes what's known as primary amoebic meningoencephalitis. The child died a week later. Wherever you, you find water that's sitting with organic material, you can get this amoeba growing. Arlington's chief epidemiologist says it's a bacteria that thrives in water that's recirculated. And when they recirculate it, they really need to have at least two different types of disinfection to prevent this from happening. But the lack of disinfection caused it to happen, according to the CDC, as well as Arlington city leaders, who say they feel personally responsible. It breaks my heart. I'm a father of four, grandfather of five kids from two to seven years old. I cannot imagine having to bury a child or a grandchild like that. It's completely unacceptable uh, and it's devastating. Uh, daily inspections were not occurring uh, regularly uh, at at least two of the splash pads. Um, and either they weren't recording their results or they simply uh, weren't going. I had no idea. How do you think about that? That's very shocking and sad because there's so many kids that come here and so many families that depend on this. The city says all of its splash pads will remain off until an investigation and that the water supply was never impacted. Despite the death, health experts say splash pads can be operated safely as long as they are properly maintained. Health experts say the risk of drowning is still 100 times greater than contracting this infection. But they recommend parents ask questions about the splash pads operated in other cities, especially if they use recirculated water. In Arlington tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. One other note, it is important to reiterate just how rare this is. The CDC says that you should seek treatment immediately if you think you're infected. But it's almost always fatal, they tell us at the same time. Still, these are the symptoms to be aware of. Severe headache, fever, nausea, vomiting, and when it advances over time, patients can see stiff necks, seizures, as well as hallucinations. Things to keep in mind.